What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. <clears throat> we about to get into Halle Bailey upset video leaked of her, Queen Aja over Chris. Let's get it. Michael Rainey Jr. fans were upset with Ty Lil and his sister and they want Michael to press charges against the sister. So last night Michael pulled up to Ty Lil's stream, Ty Lil friends, his mom, the kids were all in the room. Ty Lil's older sister, who's a big fan of Michael, she came in the room, she hugged him, she passed out, everybody laughed, everybody's having a good time. Well, later on during the stream, Ty Lil's older sister stands by Michael and she randomly just Oh, it was the older sister at that. Uh, Michael, she came in the room. She hugged him. She passed out. Everybody <sighs> laughed. Everybody's having a good time. Well, later on during the stream, oh Tyler was... Oh, my God. Tyler was already looking like, what are you doing? Oh, the sister stands by Michael, and she randomly just grabs his package. Now, obviously, what? Michael's caught off guard. Oh he starts laughing. Hell. But you can tell he's uncomfortable because the situation caught him off guard. Men will laugh hysterically when they're extremely uncomfortable. That's the saddest part. I'm glad his friend got him the fuck up out of there. Right. That was disgusting. Not only are you touching him inappropriately on live you're doing it in front of the children your family you're be the ones that in front of your older brother he didn't even care that's up the opportunities every time i feel so bad for him he looks so hurt and uncomfortable not you caught committing a crime on camera girl that's as a and for the people wondering why he laughed it's called being nervous and not knowing how to handle the situation yeah. at hand the level of thirsty you had to be to do this on especially the fact that she was a woman you know anybody else he'd be ready to punch in the face live in front of kids shaking my head disgusting and unacceptable essay is not taken serious enough this needs to have the same amount of outrage as it would if the roles were reversed michael would be canceled and possibly in jail word of my mother i'm trying to literally ignore this shit mm -hmm. but i'm getting texts the energy shifted and got up and left like all that shit really made me like all those side that shit really made me feel away because one when people come this is your crib it's about hospitality. That's, that means everything. Stop telling me to ignore it because I was trying to ignore it. Y'all yeah, just was spamming it. That shit really got me really from the way because, bro, I be around celebrities all day. You feel what I'm saying? Like, even when I first started being around my first few celebrities, don't get me wrong, I do unusual shit. No, no, no. Like, nothing crazy. Like, I'd be like, yo, like, I'd be trying to record, get a video, a picture, whatever. But due time, you feel what I'm saying? That shit don't really mean nothing to you. We all equal, we all the same. But she never seen somebody that cal caliber, so she start. You feel what I'm saying? And that's my sister. So, like, I'm not going to say nothing better, but I'm going to just check and tell her, like, you don't got to. Nah, that's crazy. Me and my sister would have probably had to throw them hands. We all, we all the same. We all human. If he's here for me, he's here for you. Nah, Family he, Sunday dinner. here for you. <laughs> no. Every Sunday. You feel what I'm saying? I got people telling me, you got to be aware who you have around when these said you come. Why should I? We all equal. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, no, nah, he tripping. That's why he had to retract that statement. Nigga, you tripping. It ain't got nothing to do with what caliber they under. It's the trouble you can get into if somebody in there do something that they ain't supposed to be doing because they are who they are. No, ma'am. Because he got to make... Now he got to make your sister an example. No. It's going to be... It's, we all got a mutual Yeah, you're going to have to be the one to pay for it. That's crazy. It's about respect. Shit got me dumb mad, bro. Like, where I'm real shit. I, nothing got me, nothing ever got me more mad than this, bro. Halle Bailey fans are upset after a video of Halle Bailey was leaked on social media. Supposedly someone took a video of her in DDG and edited her top out and made it seem like she was showing her chest. Obviously it's somebody else's chest. And you can see the straps to her top at the beginning of the video. So she did have a top on, but the person edited her top out. DDG tweet, AI getting scary and weird. Trey put his baby mama oh, Cindy in the hot seat last night, which it did turn out too good because Trey was going back and forth with people in the comments of the video. So during the video, Cindy was asked, would she get back with Trey? Would she have another baby? by Trey? Would she sleep with Trey again? And she said no to all of those questions, which at first Trey act like he was cool and unbothered. But as time went along in the video, you could see that he was starting to get his feelings and he started to feel away. Would you have another child by me? Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. <laughs> hey, look, don't let that nigga get you put off. No. All right? <laughs> don't let that nigga get you. Why not? Well, she don't have to get, you know, she don't have to get put out. That's her answer. No, they're not saying that. Like, I, would you not like, no. would you? Fuck you too, then. <laughs> okay. No. Respectfully, uh, but no. Uh, so you trying to say I'm a bad dad? No, you're an amazing dad. I'm just saying no. Ooh. <laughs> I know. 
Someone said, Cynthia bad as fuck. Y'all ain't ready to do this again. Fuck, but yeah, Trey, there's no getting Cynthia back, but y'all definitely will be great friends. Who said I wanted her back or tried to get her back? I ain't never in my life tried to get back with her, and y'all can ask her yourselves. We both moved on, it is nothing. Y'all irritating than a motherfucker. Cynthia always been pretty nothing, has changed, and Cynthia be so fed up with Trey reminiscing. What you saying sorry to me for, though? I never said I wanted her back. That's a question from the fans, not me. A man can be fed up too, not just a woman. We both moved on, y'all irritating. Trey wants her so bad, it's sick, lol. These are all personal questions he wants to know and so in love with her you can tell it's crazy trey responded i literally post on my stories everyone's seen it and these are questions they came up with why do y'all spread shit around and lie so much queen as your baby fought that's just what they've been doing that's what they're gonna keep doing him and armand gotta like mm -mm, the exit stage left on trying to convince y'all of something that it's not ain't nobody got time for that game <laughs> the chris sales were i would ignore her Oh, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Revealed in his recent video that CJ would not be coming to Houston this summer. Now, CJ is supposed to go with Chris during the summer. Queen has the child during the school year. But recently, Queen told Chris Sales that CJ said that he didn't want to spend the whole summer with him, that he wanted to go see his grandma for a part of the summer and then go see Chris Sales. But Chris Sales felt away and said, oh, no, keep him for the whole summer. I just don't want him for two to three weeks. I want him for the whole summer. Reese Love, I felt like if his mom knows you're supposed to have him for the whole summer, it should just... Be that, no ifs, ands, and buts. Me too. I do feel like, I feel like that too. I ain't but. gonna lie. This is the first time I can actually say I agree. It's probably so many reasons as to why she not, though. But I agree. And hell, I thought this was by law. So I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know how that happened because, um, apparently, uh, they went to court and all that, so. I don't even know how this is even happening, but shit, it is what it is. I know she wanted, I know Queen wanted her mom to spend time with Chris this summer, but I'm not like, I'm not problematic. I'm not problematic. So I'm not, I'm not, anymore. I mean, I'm not saying I never was, but I'm not anymore. So okay. if that's what she wanted, I'm going to just go ahead. And, you feel me? Like Period. my son, no, like, I, I don't know. Like I just, I'm just, I'm just done with like the arguing, uh, like, I'm done with all that. I'd rather just be peace. You have your way. I'm pretty sure it's it'll be times where she'll let me get on, you know, and, and okay. I just don't want no problems. You feel me? That's all. I just don't want no problems. That's fucked up. Yeah. But, I mean, it's cool at the end of the day. I'm not tripping. My baby know I love him to death. And, um... Yeah, he always get to see me. In the house. No, moms can wait. The summer is yours. I definitely feel you on that. I'm not going to lie to you. Here's what the comments were saying. Someone said, kids get used to a routine I completely understand, but two to three weeks is still something, even if it's a weekend, take it, huh? Y'all know kids- I definitely would have still took the two to three weeks. It is a lot just for two to three weeks, but it is what it is. Get older and change and they start picking what and where they want to be when school- And that's another thing I was going to say. I'm glad somebody said it because I, I feel like I wouldn't have worded it correctly, but yeah, these kids get older, they can be like, you know what's up ma it ain't nothing what, what going on i'm talking about you be minding all of your business i was just wondering do i have to go to dad's house this summer <laughs> like i mean you won't have to go where you don't want to go what what is it that you want to do and he probably was like i want to go to my grandma's house like i was a grandma's baby you know what i'm saying rest in peace to my granny i was a grandma's baby so we went to our grandma's house. I'm, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I need to go holler at the granny. Yeah, baby. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe that's, he probably hasn't seen her in a while either. Cool is out. So then take him for the three weeks. Men make no sense. Give him better. Two weeks is better than nothing, no? So go a whole year without seeing your son. And you said it's whatever because I'm not about to have him. He could be looking at it like shit. Two to three weeks ain't nothing. Like, you know, 365 days out of a year and you get to see him for what? 21? Uh, he, it is bitter, but I kind of feel like he got the right to be. But if baby CJ made that decision, then eh, he made that decision. Only for a couple of weeks. I understand what he's saying, but if little Chris don't want to be with him the whole summer, yeah. then that's fine. Yeah. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Um, Yeah, this whole baby thing, especially with the baby daddy having to share a yin with the man, it's a lot. 
it's a lot uh with these children and it's a real real thing so i hate it for straight people because y'all just out here doing the nasty and not even realizing you know, you, you you could potentially bring a life up in this motherfucker. And then the government trying to get it to where you, you can't even. Jesus. Anyway, bye.